Okay, let us discuss this problem. So this says a point charge Q is located at the center of a thin ring of radius A. So radius of ring is A that is given to you. And with uniformly distributed charge minus Q. So the uniformly charge distributed over this ring and that the total charge that is distributed over this ring is Q. Magnitude wise Q and the sign wise minus because the charge is negative. Now there is a plus charge that is also located at the center. So the center of the ring contains a charge plus Q. And then question says, find the magnitude of electric field strength vector at a point lying on the axis of the ring at a distance x from its center. So this distance from center to this point, the distance is x that is given. And you have to investigate the case when x is much much greater than a. This means you have to do some approximation. Now what is the point? You have to find electric field at this point. Due to charge, this charge and due to this ring. Now I can use the electric field superposition principle. So electric field due to this charge, that is positive charge. If you keep a positive charge here, this positive charge will repel. So electric field due to positive charge will be something like this side. So electric field due to point charge will be in this direction. So electric field due to the point charge will be in this direction. And electric field due to the ring. So if you place a charge, positive charge here, this ring will attract. So electric field due to ring will be this direction. So this is the electric field due to the ring. Now the things are very simple. Resultant electric field will be, if I write my x direction as positive, so this is my x direction. So resultant electric field will be E point minus E ring. Now electric field due to the point charge everybody knows. So this will be Q by 4 pi epsilon naught x square. So this is the Q by 4 pi epsilon naught x square. So this is the due to the point charge. Now what ring everybody knows. This is Qx divided by A square plus x square. And if you does not know then really you are in the serious problem. You have to remember this result. If you does not remember please try to see the how we have derived this in the class. You have to remember at any cost you have to remember. If you want to qualify J, not even J, even if you want to do yeah, clear 12 Q by 4 pi epsilon naught and this will be 1 by X square minus X by A square plus X square raised to the power 3 by 2. Now the approximation I have to make some approximation because x is much much greater than a. So we have to do some approximation here. So now q by 4 pi epsilon naught. We have 1 by x square minus if I take x square common. So x square if I take common if it come outside it will come as a form of x q because x square into x to the power 3 by 2 so 2 to cancels out. So if I take x square common here, x q will come outside. So x divided by x q and here you will have 1 plus a square by x square. Because I have taken x square common so this term will become 1 and this is a square by x square raised to the power 3 by 2. Are you getting? So this is 3 by 2. Are you getting or not? Then I have to uh, do the next term. So what I can do is I can take x square common. So if I take x square common, I will have q by 4 pi epsilon naught x square 
if I take x square common and then this will be 1 minus and this is 1 plus a square by x square raised to the power minus 3 by 2. I can write something like this. Now this is nothing but 1 plus, this is a small number, so 1 plus x to the power n, that is 1 plus nx. So you see this will be simply 1 plus nx, so 1 1 goes, so we will have simply nx and minus minus plus, so 3 by 2. So we will have q by 4 pi epsilon naught x square. And this is 3 by 2 a square x square. Are you getting on? So this is finally 3 by 8 pi epsilon naught. So 3 by 8 pi epsilon naught is there also. So, and then you will have q a square on the top. And then you will have x square into x square that is x4. So check yourself, you will get the same thing. So this is the fine electric field and this is directed along the x-axis because final value is coming out to be positive. So this means this is directed along the x-axis. This means point charge will supersede the ring. This means both have the q charge. So q, the point charge will have more contribution corresponding to the ring charge. So this will give you the electric field at point P, resultant electric field due to ring plus point charge. Since the electric field coming in the positive direction of X, I can say electric field due to the point charge is dominating factor than electric field due to the ring. This is obvious. In this case, this point charge is concentrated, but in this case, in this case, in the case of ring, the point charge is basically distributed. So if you distribute something, now distance from all points is not x in this case. In this case distance is x square plus a square. But from here this distance is only x. So it is obvious that electric field due to the point charge should be more because all the all the charges are kept at a distance x. But in this case all the charges are kept at a distance under root a square plus x square. And that's why we are saying electric field due to the point charge will be more and electric field due to the ring will be less. So E point is more, E ring is less. So finally we'll have electric field in a E point that is X direction. So this means if I plug, if I push, put a charge here, plus charge, it will move in this direction. Are you getting or not? We'll discuss the next problem. So you see, important point, you see the fine electric field we have that is a e to the 1 by x to the power 4 it varies with 1 by x to the power 4 so we have said in the class if you have a point charge it varies with electric field varies with 1 by x a square if you have a dipole it varies with 1 by x q now I have a system in that case it varies with 1 by x 4 are you getting or not so basically by changing the configuration we can make electric field that varies with 1 by x square x q x 4 x 5 and x 6 if you see, in class we have already also discussed with quadrupole. I don't remember exactly what was the quadrupole electric field, either 1 by x4 or 1 by x6. You can check your copy. I think it should be 1 by x4. So for quadrupole also, electric field varies with 1 by x4. Let us discuss the next problem.